Hi there. Um, I am just getting my dinner started for tonight. I am making chicken tortilla soup. Uh, this recipe is one of our favorites. Um, I've made a lot of chicken tortilla soup recipes and this one still is one that we always come back to. So it's super simple and um, tastes great. So uh, there's some ways that you can kind of uh, shorten this one up or, or change it just a bit. Um, I did post the recipe um, into my uh, Tastefully Simple group, so go ahead and check it out there. And if you're not in that group yet, then uh, request to join and hop in there. So, Okay, so in this one, um, you're going to use your slow cooker. Um, you could use your, your pressure cooker as well, so whatever you prefer. I'm going to use my slow cooker. I normally would use a slow cooker liner, but with soups, I prefer to just use the actual um, um, ceramic uh, crock. So, so I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, for this recipe, you would actually put your chicken breasts inside um, with your peppers and onion and then um, some other of your ingredients. And then at the end, after it's done cooking, then you would shred that chicken. But I've already made ma making magic chicken, and so I am just going to use that. And I'm going to save a bunch of time. Um, if you I guess it still saves time if you're putting in the crock pot early, but um, this one only needs about three or four hours. So I'm going to do that um, right now and I'm just going to use my shredded chicken because I've already got it shredded. So, Okay, so what you're going to do is put your chicken, and this is how I do mine. So when I shred that magic um, chicken, uh, I just save it into two cup uh, portions and then I put it in my freezer. So it's all ready to go and last night I knew I was going to make this, so last night I set it out into my free, uh, fridge so it could thaw overnight. If you don't think in advance, um, you can always just throw it in the microwave and thaw it that way. Okay, so I'll toss that out. So again, it was all shredded. I used my um, stand mixer to shred it, so it didn't take time at all. So I'll put that in my crock pot. Okay, so I have that. And then, um, then you're gonna add peppers and onion. And um, I am gonna skip the peppers this time because I don't have it. I'm gonna actually add them later. So um, you can either do a poblano pepper or a green pepper, whichever one that you'd like. So I'm gonna skip that, but then you're gonna add onion. And I chop my onion up um, on my foldable chopping board. So I love this because it's super straight when you're chopping, but then when you're gonna dump it in, all you do is just dump it in, makes it super simple to be able to dump. Um, I'm gonna grab my spoon here and get the rest of it off. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so then um, what you would do is use your corn and black bean salsa. That's the secret ingredient. So that's gonna go inside here. Oh my goodness, this one's a strong one today. There we go. So I'll dump that in. And then I'm going to add the broth. You'll need a 32 ounce box, um, a container of reduced sodium broth. But I actually have some leftover um, Making Magic chicken broth that I had from last night when I made my chicken. What I do is I save that and then I just put it in, these, in, a, in a container and then throw it in my freezer. But I knew I was making this today, so I, um, I just went ahead, oh my gosh, that salsa smells so good. Um, I just went ahead and put this in my fridge last night. So this is three cups. And this recipe will call for four. So because it's calling for reduced sodium and the Make and Magic broth is not reduced sodium, I'm going to use three cups of that. So I'll just pour that in. And then I'm just gonna use one cup of water to kind of dilute that saltiness since um, the, the Make and Magic broth is not unsalted so, so or low sodium. So I'll add the rest as the water. Okay, and then here's another little addition that I goofed up. Um, I make this recipe and I, I kind of went off my memory when I was making my grocery list earlier in the week. And so um, I forgot the enchilada sauce goes in here. So later I have to um, run an errand. So I'm gonna pick up that enchilada sauce on my way back and I'll just dump it in when I get home. So one can of enchilada sauce would go in and then two teaspoons of garlic, garlic seasoning. So, Remember to always shake those uh, shakers to distribute the, the seasoning inside. And I'm just going to eyeball this. If we needed two tablespoons, it would be a cap, but it's two teaspoons. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball that. It's not like baking. So you can, you can uh, kind of guess or you can measure, whichever you would like. Okay, and then you're just going to stir this up. And my shredded chicken was thawed, but it's still kind of, I, I, um, 
sealed it with my vacuum sealer so it's kind of just stuck together so I'm just gonna kind of um, almost like chop it apart a little bit with my spoon one more piece there okay there we go and then I will cover this and then don't forget to turn your crock pot on you can actually do that probably before you start assembling so you don't forget so I'm gonna do this, um, you can do it on low for six to eight hours or high for three to four. So I'm gonna do mine on high. And then that'll be ready for us right on time. So, all right, have a great day and enjoy your chicken tortilla soup, bye.